We on our way to get this hair cut real quick. You ready to get your hair cut, my boy? Huh? The trippy part about it, though, is get up this morning, throw on our clothes, brush our teeth. It's time to roll out, right? So when it's time to roll out, I get the pat in my pockets. Get to looking around, hit my jacket. I can't find my wallet. So now I'm riding around with no wallet, no license, no ID, no no cards, no money, nothing, nothing. We still about to get our hair cut because I'm an Apple paying or selling one of the two, but still gonna get our hair cuts. But when I get back home, I got to look for my wallet, man. Well, it's always something, man. But it seemed like whenever I be rushing and stuff, that's when I be like, dang, where's this? Where's that? Where's this? Where's that? Can't find stuff. Then when I settle down and I'll find it. So I hope I just go home and find it when I get there because I was rushing. Or Tam will find it. When she get back home or whatever she doing. I need to find that wallet. Because I got to go to work tonight and I need my ID. Can't be driving no truck without no wallet, man. No ID, no no CDLs in my pocket. I ain't never got caught, so I don't know what that ticket to be like. So gotta find that wallet, man. Let's get these haircuts. <laughs> ones here we're on the other side he got somebody over there but on this side we're the first one y'all is picked the first time slot on friday because i gotta go to work so we just waiting man he's first and he mad i don't care you mad he ain't mad at getting his hair cut. He mad because I just got on him about runny nose and stuff. Just letting his nose run. Boy, you can't be doing that. You understand that? Got to get on him. Ooh, look at your boy. Ooh, check your boy out. Fresh cut. Check my boy out. Fresh cut. Fresh cut. Ooh, look at us. Ooh. We fresh. We fresh, son. What you think? Yeah. Yeah. Got that fresh cut, man. Now I gotta go home and find my wallet. I don't know where that's at, but we're gonna show look for it when we get there.
Friday, I don't want to be here, but I don't want to miss no money either. So let's get this money. Let's get to this money. Let's get to it. And another thing, right? The weather's nice. Feel good outside. I do not feel like trucking today. Not at all. Yo, as you can see, I'm at work getting it in, man. Big truck driver. So, um, I mean, I got something I just want to tell y'all about real quick. I'm staying back here behind the trailer because it's loud. And I don't want everybody seeing what I'm doing, man. Huh. All right, y'all, let me tell y'all this story real quick. Just happened today, man. So, I went to the barbershop today. And while I'm sitting in the chair, the barber phone had rung, right? And he answered the phone, and I hear him going, what? Oh, man, no way, bro. Heck nah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like tripping off of something. Then he was like, hold on, hold on. This is my son clicking in. Maybe he about to tell me about it, too. So he on there talking to his son, and they ain't talking about the situation. But then I heard him say to his son, like, yo, such and such shot himself in the head today. I'm sitting in the chair like, dang, man, that's, that's messed up, right? See, man, we all go through stuff in life, man. Everybody is going through stuff, man. I just went through some stuff, man, and it tore me up, man, and I'm still tore up about it. On top of that, I was going through other stuff, too, you know? That wasn't the only thing I was dealing with. Losing my job, bills got to get paid, you know, just a bunch of other mess on top of the mess that I was dealing with, which was, which was the biggest thing out of all, man, losing my pops. But I cannot ever, I don't care what it is, out myself, put a gun on my head and take myself out of this world. The Lord gonna have to just take me out when, I, when he ready for me to, to go, you know what I'm saying? That is never an option for me, man. For one, I got people that depend on me. I got kids, I got a wife at home, man. I got love, other loved ones around, man, that need me around. You know what I'm saying? That is not an option. So with that being said, people, like, whatever you going through, man, you going to go through that stuff and just know that somebody else is going through it too. Going through it might not be the same thing you going through, but they going through something themselves. Taking yourself out should never, ever be an option. Never. So if you got suicidal thoughts, man, get some help. Please, man, because we don't want to lose nobody to suicide, man, at all, man. That's, like, ridiculous. That's the, one of the craziest things, man, like a person can ever do in their life is put a weapon up to their head and kill themselves. I had a cousin die because of suicide, man. I don't know if it be the medicine that the folks is on to make them have suicidal thoughts. I don't know what it is, man, but if you having suicidal thoughts, man, please get some help. Don't do it. It's somebody that needs you. Hold on, my battery's about to die. Let me change it. All right, I'm back. Yeah, man, uh, I gotta go to a funeral tomorrow, speaking of all this suicide and stuff one of my aunties passed away and I gotta go to her funeral tomorrow you know we losing too many people man and our family and I know a lot of other people are losing people quick too but that's why I did that thing for my mother man on her birthday I had that little party because we never know 
It might not be my mother to go. It might be somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So coming together, man, is always a good thing with your family, man. Come together, have fun, be positive. You know what I mean? Do what y'all do, man. Just stick together. You know what I'm saying? This summer, man, if I ain't in this truck, I'm like out and about and I'm on my off days, I'm going to be spending a lot of time with family. You know, my sons, my wife, I got cousins, I got sisters, man. We be bumping heads at times, but hey, listen. The most important thing, we family, man. We need to work things out, stick together, man. We all we got. Because once one of us gone, we'll be crying and whining and doing all that mess. And I don't want to ever lose somebody and wish that we could have squashed our beef and we ain't do it. Losing my dad, boy, that was rough. That was one of the roughest things I went through when it comes to losing people. I only lost aunties, I only lost uncles. But when it hit home, when it's your parent, it's a different type of feeling, man. If you ain't lost a parent yet, then take care of them, man. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't expecting this. I was over at my mother's house yesterday. I'll probably be going over there a whole lot more, man, you know? This right here just takes so much of my time for me doing a lot of things that I want to do. But I got to start taking care of me. When I Remember I said I need to start taking care of my health. I need to get my health back together. I need to get my money and finances back together so I can try to make sure once I am gone, my family is taken care of. But man, if you ever had suicidal thoughts, please go get some help. I don't know the suicidal hotline, but look it up, man. Google it. I'm sure you can find it. It's just a piece of advice for me, man, on this, this video. Another news. I'm getting ready to hit the road, Jack. It's about time for me to go. Hey, do something positive, man. Get out these streets. Look for something positive to do. There's too much negative shit going on. Too many people getting killed for dumb shit. Excuse my language. But it is what it is. It's real, buddy. Let's go. Sleepy. I'm telling y'all, man, I think I'm, I'm driving a Tesla truck or something. You gotta be driving by yourself. I don't know how I made it this far. That's how sleepy I am, man. I'm so sleepy. If I go to sleep, like take a nap right now, I might not wake up until the sun come up. 
That's how I sleep, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink this monster. And then, hopefully I'll make it. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for your boy. I'm so sleepy, boy. Just ordered me some of that, uh, see that right there? Two for six fish. Got two fish sandwiches. That's some mozzarella sticks. Cause I ain't ate since earlier today. I'm a little hungry. Look, man, this one thing about trucking, all right? A lot of people think that when you're driving the truck that you gotta drive straight and you can't stop, take a break. That's a lot of people that don't know nothing about trucking and now they ain't never drove no truck. Whenever you uh, drive a semi truck and you get sleepy, you can always stop and take a nap. Companies will never be mad at you for stopping and taking you a nap because one thing they do not want is for you to be crashing, hurt nobody, turn up the equipment, crashing that trailer, then they can't get the freight to where it need to go. So they will tell you, like, if you get sleepy, you pull over and take a nap. You know what I'm saying? You never think you got to drive all the way through, man. You sleepy, do what you got to do. And right now, I'm stupid sleepy, so that's why I stopped here so I can use the restroom. Give me something to drink. Now grab me an energy drink. Grab me something to eat. I'm going to do it eat this. I'm going to eat this, drink my energy drink. If I start feeling sleepy again, I'm going to pull up and take me a little nap, man. After my nap, I'm just going to continue on. Or everything that you got to keep going and keep going and keep going. Nope. Pull your ass over. Go to sleep. Take a nap. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> a 30-minute nap. It's better than a no-minute nap. A 30-minute nap will take you a long way, buddy. Be, su be surprised how many times I took a little 30-minute nap. And after that 30-minute nap, man, I made it all the way back home. 30-minute nap will take you a long way, man. Believe it or not. It's a rough one, man. It's a rough night.